For this week's video, I thought I'd have some fun and do an art project that involves resin. I started off by priming a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood, and while that was drying, I got everything around to tint the resin. The four colors my wife picked out for the project were pearl white, antique silver, carbon black, and sapphire blue. I also picked up these cups and stirring sticks off Amazon, and of course, I already had some Harbor Freight nitrile gloves on hand. If I'm being completely honest right now, I truly have no idea how much resin I should mix up for this project. So I decided to make up 6 ounces of each color just to be on the safe side. As you can see here, I worked in a precise amount of pigment into 3 ounces of resin. Once those parts were mixed, I added 3 ounces of the hardener and thoroughly mixed both parts for 3 minutes. This resin has an open time of 45 minutes, but after mixing all 4 colors, that meant I had a little over 30 minutes to work with it which was plenty of time. So, let's have some fun. Well, I kind of went all out with adding a ton of resin off the bat, and I'm glad I did. I was able to get a lot of depth and textures doing so, so no regrets with that decision whatsoever. I saw a video where Peter Brown used some straws to move the resin around, and I thought about doing that, but then I realized that I didn't want to pass out. So I grabbed a can of compressed air, and it worked out perfectly. Side note, this is my second attempt at this. Not because the first one looked bad, but I had a couple of rogue air bubbles form and pop a few hours after I got the first one complete, so I decided to do another one. Now my biggest piece of advice to you if you do something like this is just to have fun. I honestly had no idea what I was doing, and it turned out great. And here we have the finished result. Now it's not perfect by any means, there are a few small air bubbles, but in the end, it's art. And if Bob Ross taught us anything, it's that we don't make mistakes in creating art, just happy accidents, and that every tree needs a friend. I am however very pleased with how this turned out, and I would consider doing another resin project in the future. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any comments or questions about this project, please feel free to leave those below and I will address them when I can. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care, and have a good one.